It was just in her. If she didn't get it out, she just had to sing. So today we are going to check out a Sinead O'Connor song called Feels So Different. Sinead O'Connor was obviously an Irish artist and I know her most from the song Nothing Compares to You, which was iconic in every single way. I mean, you can't escape that song, right? Like it's everywhere. It's a beautiful song and she was a troubled but beautiful soul, I think. Sadly, of course, we recently lost Sinead. I found her a fascinating person whenever she would do interviews. She kind of didn't play the music industry game and I found a lot of what she said about women and their bodies being exploited by the industry very interesting because it kind of hit on some things that I experienced as an actor and a woman. Why I got involved in the issue of whether or not it's appropriate for 20 year old women to be asked to lick sledgehammers in, in videos for songs that have no lyrical reference to any such thing in them um, is, is I would see as an exploitation of somebody who's possibly a little too young to understand the dangers of allowing oneself to be exploited in that way. I didn't agree with everything she said but I do think she brought to light a lot of things that some people outside the industry might not have known. Anyway because she had such a beautiful voice I'm interested to hear this song I've never heard before today so let's check it out. A reminder I can only make these videos thanks to people like you, PayPal, Patreon, channel membership. I like to listen to the song the whole way through without interrupting it and so they make zero euro for me here on YouTube. Lots of extra rewards on there. Otherwise please do like and comment that is super important for the algorithm and I greatly appreciate it too God will give us a reason to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference Every word they 
differently to her peers and even her more contemporary people who came up in the business was that it never felt like she was there for the fame or the glory or the glitz or the glamour or the money. It felt like she was singing because she was born with this beautiful voice and she just had to sing like it felt like it was just in her if she didn't get it out she just had to sing and I think that's like something that I find interesting as a person like even when I meet people what motivates them to do something you always expect people that you meet to be motivated by the same things that you are but it's just not true people are motivated by different things money love creativity but don't assume that somebody is motivated by the same things you are i think that's like a mistake i've made in life a lot because ain't not everybody the same you know i also really enjoyed the live music aspect the pianos and the violins like it really felt like a theatrical performance i'm glad we listened to the live version because it definitely had more of you know, oomph, that's a word. Okay, let's find out a little bit more about this song. This song is about personal transformation and self-realization. The lyrics delve into the singer's journey of self-discovery and the profound changes she has undergone. She reflects on the superficiality of many relationships she once held dear, they 
Ain't that the truth? It's about embracing change and finding inner strength. It highlights the transformative power of self-reflection and self-acceptance, showcasing the beauty of personal growth and the liberation that comes with it. Yeah, I mean, isn't that what we all strive for? Self-acceptance? That's a great song. It's amazing how that is not the song that she's known for. I guess maybe because the music video for Nothing Compares to You was so iconic. She had other great songs. If you want me to check some of those out, some I've heard before, some I haven't, let me know below in comments. But yeah, the world has lost a beautiful soul in this realm anyway.